Hello folks and welcome. So this video is for new users of Mint and this is the Cinnamon desktop, Linux Mint 22.1. I'm going to talk about the first steps, your desktop colors and give you some tips there if you're a brand new user. I'll be mostly talking about these three settings. You generally don't need a screenshot tool for this one, but I will also touch a little bit about advanced settings and in that you may want to think about a screenshot tool. You do have one in Linux Mint. Just type in SC and you'll find it. It has three modes. A screen takes a picture of everything. Window is just whatever window is open and it never takes a picture of itself. So you can leave the box right on top of this. And if you take the screenshot now, it'll only take a picture of this box. And you can also do selections. So just be aware you have a screenshot tool. In the corner is a subscription key. I have well over 500 videos on all kinds of subjects. Just look for that icon with a person with yellow brackets. All right, let's start here. So this is themes. You can get it from the welcome screen. You can also get it from your mint menu. If you open up the system settings control center here, you'll see themes. You can also right click on your panel bar. Some people call it a taskbar, but it's a panel bar settings. And we'll start there. We're going to start with simple settings. So advanced settings I'll get into in a second. But I'm going to yank this to the side because I'm going to open up the file manager at the same time. So I have one manually colored folder here. And you can see that I have a selection box. All right, later when I talk about advanced settings, um, when we change the icon themes, um, this uh, folder here may not be selectable for color change for certain icon sets. All right, you'll see what I mean by that in a minute. That's just a made up name, the user. All right, we're gonna start with Mint L, starting with the light theme, dark theme, mixed. All right, so I'll start with opening up the menu briefly. I'll let you see what the icon sets look like at the same time, and the mixed, okay? We can also colorize our folders, and the only one it's not going to change is the one I manually colored, just to give you that perspective. Okay, so you may not like some of the colors, but again, everybody has a different preference. You may not like the mixed environment. Maybe you want all dark. Again, I can't answer that question. It's a preference thing. Or maybe you just want all light colors. All right, so I'm able to click the appearance on Mint L, but when I mint, go to Mint X, and you're gonna see some changes on the panel. And also your menu icons have changed, especially these. But a lot of these are different. But these are no longer selectable. My Mint X, I can't click appearance, it doesn't activate. But the icon sets kind of have a picture in the front of the folder versus on the Mint L, they're kind of embedded, different shapes too. But that doesn't mean I can't change the folder colors because I have options in here with these simple colors. Okay. And keep in mind, these buttons are different from the Mint L. And you'll also see Mint Y is at the bottom. And I can click these three in Mint Y and Mintel, but not X. Okay, you don't need, really need a screenshot tool for this one. I think this is pretty basic. And at any time you're in an advanced section and you panic, you can always just click simple and then select the Mintel X or Y. So you don't have to panic. A lot of people, well, I don't, you know, I did something, I don't understand what I did. It doesn't work for me. Always just go back to basic settings. Okay. So the Mint Y is the last one on this category and you have some mixed environments here. There's lots of choices. Now let's talk about the advanced side of the house. All right, so if you wanna get adventuresome, we can talk about the applications, icons, and desktops. The mouse pointer um, is a separate theme, but it's still there. So I've added some custom ones. If you have ever seen my custom videos, um, like this one is a custom mouse pointer, for instance. 
Uh, but um, I'm going to change that to this uh, B-I-B-A-T-A -A, original classic. Okay. And these are not removable. They're stored in a location. Actually, the file uh, location is USR share icons. And I can't remove that unless I have root permissions. And the other ones are stored in a different location. This one is installed in a hidden folder called dot icons, but I do make mention of that on my video. So I'm not really going to do a deep dive into that today. All right. So whenever we change any of these three categories, let's uh, do the icons on this one. And uh, let me go with mint white blue. When I go to simplified, you'll see custom right here. In addition to those three, because I made a change. All I did was change the icon set. So you have a lot of combinations from here to here to here, which can be overwhelming to some. Remember, you have a screenshot tool in case you make these kind of changes and you like it. Do a screenshot and then you can still play and then look at your screenshot and put them exactly in the order that you wanted it. That's about the only time I'll recommend screenshots. But what about this add and remove? What is that? Well, that is something that Linux Mint gave you some additional themes. I want to say there's well over 60 in here. It could be 90. I haven't even counted them. Um, but currently none of these are installed. So I'll pick on the first one. If you want to sort them in a different way, you can do that by name, popularity, date, installed and upgradable. Popularity is usually default. To install any of these things, you just click the install key. Okay. Now, if I decided to find, want to find out more about this thing, I hit the light bulb or whatever icon theme you currently have. That symbol may be different on others. You'll see what I mean by that in a minute. As long as you have an internet connection, this should go to cinnamon-spices.linuxmint.com. And then you can get an idea what this thing looks like and you can read more about it. So what I'm going to do is install it. And you can see it says it's installed and it gives you a check mark. Now, not everything is available, though, when you click these three sections. But some things are so that was the name of that theme. We can verify that again by just taking a look at the name. All right, so I clicked the applications and everything just changed. Just giving you an idea, idea what it looks like. Now on the icon set, uh, it does not have that up there at the top, but I do have some custom ones. As a matter of fact, that whole top line is custom icons, which you can watch my other videos for that. But down here at the desktop version, I do have that same name right here. So I'm going to click that. So not too many things just changed. So that was available to me and that was available to me when I added this quote theme. All right. So if I decided to go with this one, I will go back and look for settings that have that name in it. OK, I just didn't let the screen refresh fast enough. So is it in here? Let's see. Let's close and reopen just to verify things. And I don't see that. Uh, let me double check the name here. OK, Orchid idea or something like that. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Does it have an icon set? Be under the O's. I don't see any icon sets for that, so it's only this one. It looks like desktop only. So we can switch this to something different. Let's do that one. Kind of added a tint to it, it looks like. So in either case, I'm using that that and this and this will say custom on it. If you panic at any time, you can always do this. It's immediate and pick the color that you want. Okay, you can see that it just reverted back to everything. 
So if you don't like the theme, uninstall it. It's not a big deal. All right, so you can mix and match these that are currently available or not. I have a goofy set for you here, just to give you an example of a custom icon set. And there are certain rules that when you install these things, because you need to find these on a reboot. So if you want to watch those kind of videos, I do have those. Take a look at my panel bar. You'll see it's totally changed. So I'm going to go to Mentwise Sand for a second and let you see when I right click on this that I do have the color change for that individual folder called backup. However, when I go into Yarrow Blue and right click on the folder, there's no option for changing the color back to anything. So how would I fix that where all of these are the same color? Well, I would probably pick Mintwise Sand, then right click on this folder and hit the X to remove the color, then go back to Yarrow. I'm just giving you some tips uh, if you're deciding to use custom themes. Because you can mix and match these. So again, um, if this is something that you wanted it in a dark color, uh, what goes with this blue? How about that one? Mint menu is a little bit different, so I can also pick something on the darker side. Keep in mind, some of these icons are totally different also. If you can notice, the software manager has got a green logo on it, the Linux Mint logo. And this still says custom on it. But let's say you don't want that anymore. Well, you can just do that immediately. Go back to Mint X, Mint Y. Pick your color of your folder. So a couple of different shades of blue in here. Orange, purple, whatever you're into. Dark only, Mint Y, Mint X. Mint L. You don't have to stick with these. But again, make a screenshot if you were playing with something you liked before. Because a screenshot will give you an accurate idea of what you need to click on to mix and match. To revert back to what you had, in other words. I've played this game a long time ago where I clicked on so many things that I forgot what the original one that I liked. Because there's so many selections in here. And then again, um, without my custom icons, that's the first top menu. Yours will more likely start with Mintel and all the way down, you will have most of these. Uh, maybe not so much the last one. Same thing with your desktop, providing you, uh, I have one theme installed, so let me remove that one. It's at the top actually, I can see it. So I'm gonna hit the X to remove the theme. <clears throat> so when I go to the desktop, um, I'll have to, do I need to cycle it? No, it just disappeared. Good. Sometimes you've got to give the system a second or two. Sometimes you can just back out and back in and that'll refresh the screen. But there was one at the top that it didn't quite remove, but now it's gone. That was that manual theme I installed. But this is generally what you have for selections. And I think this is plenty. But again, there is that section there and also I do have custom videos. I'm going to close that, bring this to the center, and then simplified settings, it's mental currently. It doesn't say custom anymore. But as soon as you make a change in here, now let's go with, let's say Yarrow, this icon set. When you hit that, it says custom on it, because that's what this is. It's a custom icon set. Doesn't mean I have to live with it, I can just go immediately to Mintel or to Mintex and custom is now gone. You can see there's no longer in the menu anymore. Okay. But in either case, whatever you're into is done through themes and it can be a nice distraction to decorate your desktop in addition to changing your wallpaper, of course, or background. 
your standard background, I believe, is this one. You can also add your own photos. So I have some photos here and, um, you know, I'm into nature. I don't know what you're into, but I have some different ones that I can select and then set as wallpaper. And we're going to call it good and say thank you for watching.